Greetings. Welcome to my channel, View From My Desktop. We here at View From My Desktop like to show affordable high fly equipment that both sounds nice and is at a budget price. So let's get started. Before we get started, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Um, it really helps me out and I appreciate it. Um, and I really do appreciate it. In this video today, what we're going to do is talk about connecting these subwoofers. And for the purposes of this video, we're going to use the Rockville Rock Shaker 8. Um, I just did a video on this subwoofer, and I thought while I had it on my desktop, I'll do the subwoofer video. And I'm going to use, for connections, I'm going to connect the Techniques SAGX470 one of my vintage um, amplifiers. I'm also going. I'm also going to use the Mookie M A M P7, the One Me Bluetooth digital amplifier, the Knob Sound, the Knob Sound Mini Bluetooth amplifier, and a Fozzy Audio BT28 Pro. All right. So let's start off with the. We're going to start off with the techniques. What we have here on the techniques is a A and B channels, left and right. And to connect the subwoofer, we're going to take this cable. This We're going to take this speaker wire that has banana clips on it. And we're going to connect it to the right side of the B speakers. And then we would take the other end of the cable of the speaker wire and that's connected to the right side. So we connect this to the right side. And you would do the same thing for the left. And when you have A, B, that's the easiest way to connect a subwoofer. Okay, the next subwoofer connection is going to be with the Mookie MAMP7. And that's going to be an RCA connection. So when you have an RCA connection, rather it's line out, line out, sub out, whatever it is. Going left and right out to the left and right in. And it doesn't matter whether this is line out, sub out. If it's if it's if you're able to connect the subwoofer, that's how you'll do it. And so you see this on uh, a lot of subwoofers that have a line out and um next to the RCA and we have the line out on the subwoofer you can go from this line out to a second subwoofer or another device and that's how you would connect something that has the double RCA okay I'm going to show something with a single RCA and it's the same thing you may have an amplifier that has a subwoofer one and a subwoofer two, both with single RCAs, and you would get the appropriate cable, one with a splitter, and you connect in here. Same thing. Just a matter of having the right cables and the right subwoofer next thing we have is 3.5 connector and this is on the Fozzy Audio BT20A and you will do the same thing rather it says on this one it says 
I think it says pre out. It may say auxiliary out. It may say line out. Doesn't matter. And you connect to the RCA. And you still have the same options to connect the line out to another device. And the last thing we're going to show today is if you don't have any of those things, any of those things on your amplifier. And all and all you have is something that has speaker outputs. Doesn't matter if it's banana clips or regular clips or whatever. All you have on your amplifier are is a right and a left speaker connection. Same thing applies. I'm going to show you on the left side. Okay. On the left side of the speaker connection, I run from, from the amplifier. I run that into the left side of the high level input on the subwoofer. And then from the high level output on the subwoofer, I will run this to the speaker. So you go from left, speaker connection, to the left, high level input, and then from the left, high level output, to the left speaker. If you have an amplifier like this one, it only has the RCA, they only have the speaker input. You would need a high level input and output to connect a subwoofer directly. Or you can get um, a, a DAC or something like that and you would run that first and you would connect that to the amplifier to like the auxiliary or something like that and input and you would have your sub connected. So those are the simple ways, the most common ways I think, the most common ways I think to connect the subwoofer. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. I will try to answer them if I know the answer. And I welcome any comments to help me do better videos and things like that. Um, I think that'll be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's helpful to anybody out there, to somebody out there. And once again, please remember to like, to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.